Welcome to the Transparent FX Academy. I'm Nick and I'm a top author on trading you with over 190k reputation points. In this video, I will be speaking about gold. Now, as usual, to keep the video as educational as possible, first, I will be covering the technical aspect for this market. Then we will be moving to the order flow by looking at the commitment of traders. So the COT data, so essentially what hedge funds and the big players in the market are doing and how they're shifting their orders. And by the end of the video, by using a combination of these two different types of analysis, we will try to understand where we have the highest probabilities for the next potential move here for the spare. So this is definitely a video you do not want to miss. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. This is the place to be for high quality, free trading education. Now, without further ado, let's jump straight onto the charts. Starting here from the monthly time frame, what we can see is that at the moment we have a market which has been testing and rejecting to the upside a quite strong historical monthly support and demand area. In fact, this zone was already acting as previous resistance preceding all these rejections to the downside. Then the market broke above the zone with this impulse and at that point all that previous resistance was turned support here. The market tested this previous monthly resistance turn support exactly here and is currently in the rejection phase to the upside away from that strong demand and support zone from a historical standpoint. And until the market will remain in this impulse phase, it can easily continue higher. However, it is important to keep in mind that no market can just go straight up in a straight line. Every market will need a series of impulses and corrections along the way in order to create an uptrend. In fact, when you have the definition of an uptrend is a series of higher highs and at the same time, a series of higher lows because these corrections are necessary in order for new buyers to enter into the market and push higher. In fact, if we see in the history of gold also, as for every market, there will, will always be impulses and corrections along the way in the creation of an uptrend. So since we are still in an impulse phase, we can expect more bullish price action. However, at any moment, the market could create a correction because now the market starts to be quite overextended to the upside before then having the possibility of seeing new buyers enter the market. And at that point, the market can continue higher. So for now, if we look at this market on the monthly time frame, everything looks quite bullish, but there is a good probability to see a correction before then seeing the continuation to the upside. So let's keep all of this in mind and drop down on the weekly time frame. Now, from a weekly perspective, what we can notice is that, first of all, we just had a strong breakout away from a range from a weekly standpoint. In fact, we clearly had a ranging market right here. We had the bottom of the range being created at this level, respected by the market in multiple occasions. At the same time, we had the top of the range here acting as resistance. Then with this impulse to the upside, the market broke out away from the range, essentially. With a break above this previous high, this candle shifted this resistance to support. The market then retested the previous resistance turned support exactly here and followed with a rejection to the upside, which is exactly what you would expect in the case of a range breakout. You would expect a break, retest and continuation to the upside, which is exactly what the market did in this specific case. We can also notice that now we're seeing another impulse to the upside. The market has already followed with the correction. Now the market is trying to continue higher. Now, if you have an impulse and you want to measure the correction, you have to take your Fibonacci from the low to the high of the impulse leg, which in this case shows us how the market went very close to the 0.32 retracement, but didn't really test the area. It didn't manage to test the zone. In fact, if we place our Fibonacci even more precisely, we can notice that it went very close, but it didn't even manage to retrace to the level. This means that there is definitely the possibility that right now this market is quite overextended to the upside and in need of a deeper correction before then continuing higher. So this push to the upside could easily be a fake breakout to the upside before then seeing a rejection to the downside. That is 
definitely possible. Now, dropping down on the daily time frame, what do we see? Now, from a daily perspective, I did speak about gold just a few days ago. I explained all the reasons for which we could expect this correction to the downside for the market to test its zone and then from here, to see the rejection to the upside. And that is exactly what the market gave us. The market, the market corrected exactly to that zone and then rejected exactly to the upside as we wanted to see it from the previous analysis. And you can go and check it out for more free education. I will link it in the description. But before we dig deeper into what we have here from a technical perspective, first, let's go and see what we have when it comes to the commitment of traders. So what the big players in the market are doing precisely on gold. Now, if we look here at the net positions, we can see how right now, now, institutions with the last reports have been decreasing their net positioning. We went from having 315.3k net positions down to 278k net positions, showing how institutions are now moving back to the bearish side for gold. We have, in fact, 591 shorts added just with the last report and 21,100 longs getting closed just with the last report. Now, this is making gold weaker. So let's keep all of this in mind and move back to the chart. Now, from a daily perspective in a situation like this, it is clear how the market is starting to create a W formation. If a W formation will be created at that point, there is an increased probability of seeing a potential rejection to the downside, completing this W formation at the neckline. So if the market here will actually create this W, at that point, that is the perfect pattern for a manipulation to the upside and for institutions to add even more shorts since already they are currently adding shorts and at that create a potential at that point create a potential rejection to the downside and the deeper correction that we already would like to see when looking at the higher time frames so in a situation like this what would i expect well as usual trading is reactive and not predictive the monthly weekly and daily time frames combined with the cot data those are the best time frames when it comes to the directional aspect of the market however when when it comes to identifying early shifts in the trend of a market, the best timeframes for that are the intraday timeframes, so for hour and lower. Therefore, what I would expect is that if this market would shift from an intraday bullish to bearish market at that point, I wouldn't be surprised to see a potential rejection to the downside, completing this W formation at the neckline. That definitely wouldn't surprise me. Now, if you want to learn more, I really suggest that you go and check out the transparentfxtrading.com website, which you find linked in the description. Here, you have the possibility to gain access to the most complete mentorship program ever that I have created. You have the possibility to gain access to all the courses, the trading station software with the Telegram signals integration, one-on-one -on -one private mentoring directly with me, the CUT data software that you see me use in all these videos, and if you continue to scroll down the website, pass the testimonials, you will see that you have the possibility to join and gain automatically access with the email and password that you will create during the sign-up process. So I really suggest that you go and check it out. The link is in the description and I will see you in it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Also, let me know in the comments below any pairs or topics that you would like me to cover in the next videos. And I will see you in my next breakdown.